Hey guys, it's Jess and Seb and in one of our last videos Jess talked about the things she loves about Germany so today we're gonna make a switcheroo and I'll be talking about 10 things that shocked me about Germany when I first moved here just a quick disclaimer, I'm from Singapore and the points are just some of my own personal experiences and are mostly compared to how things are like back home if you are new to our channel, Seb and I do videos about living in Germany, living abroad, and cultural differences when it comes to international couples. So if that is up your alley, do consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Jess, what do you get for us? So the first few points are all about transportation and like modes of getting around. The first point is the biking culture. Bicycles are a very popular mode of transportation. Adults ride it to work, kids ride it to school, and there are dedicated cycling lanes all around the city. And then there are different types of bicycles. So we have three wheeled ones where you even have a basket in front where you put kids, dogs, groceries. You have the electronic ones, you have the ones with manual gears and shifting yeah. and those provided some challenge for Jessica to get used to. Yeah, cycling is not huge in Singapore. The city is not really made for cyclists and it's so great that there are so many cyclists here because it's just so helpful for the environment. So the second point is the fact that manual cars are still so common here in Germany. Sebastian drives a manual car and I, and I think your family and friends all drive manual cars, right? Most of them do, yes. Yeah, but in Singapore, we've kind of transitioned all to automatic cars and people are just directly getting an automatic license because manual cars are not applicable anymore. The third point is the fact that you can see Mercedes and sometimes even Teslas as taxis here around Germany. Yeah, that's because you want a comfortable ride around. Yeah, but in Singapore, if you see a Mercedes taxi, you just like avoid it at all costs because you'd have to pay an extra fee um, and it just gets so expensive. But over here, Mercedes are common as taxis. Point number four, road works never seem to end. There's so many construction works all around the city and it's been one and a half years since I moved here and they're still working on it. It's mostly because of the weather conditions. It's like the cold weather, you need different tarmac and different kind of asphalt. It destroys the roads. It's because of all the trucks delivering goods from A to B yeah. and the many cars we're having. So roads are always or constantly damaged and that's why we need to repair them. And the last point about transportation is the public train system. The Deutsche Bahn, the train operator in Germany, they cannot operate under any weather, be it sun, it's hot, the trains get delayed or cancelled, is there rain, there's snow, heavy storms, whatever, the trains don't go. No, I think it's fine if it's delayed, but sometimes they just get cancelled altogether and they don't come at all. So the next category is all about food. Mm. and. One thing I find really interesting is how the Germans eat their hard-boiled eggs. Germans have a very particular way of eating hard-boiled eggs. There is so much equipment that comes together with it. So we use a egg holder. It's like a little cup for an egg. You put it there and then you can just take a spoon, you tap the top of the egg, you remove the shell and then you start eating. And as you're using the spoon, the shell that's still there is keeping the egg in place and you can nicely eat it with salt on top. There's another invention for making this part of removing the top easier. It's called the Eierschalen Sollbruch Stellen Verursacher. Wait, what? <laughs> I will put a translation here. Uh, it's a little device that you put on top of your egg and it helps decapitate your egg. Decapitate? Decapitate your egg. It takes off the top part very neatly, nicely. 
and it's a matter of seconds. Never fails to amaze me how the Germans eat the hard boiled eggs. And the next point is about the bread. If you go to a German bakery, trust me, you'll be overwhelmed because there are so many different bread types. And I don't even know what all of them are called. Me neither. And one thing I find really interesting is that you Germans call the white bread, the square white bread, toast, even when it's not toasted. <laughs> We do. Yeah, that's really weird. Because you put it in a toaster and then it becomes toast. But you don't toast the other types of bread, usually. Yeah, there's a whole art to eating bread in Germany. It's a big thing. Our lunch is called Brot. Zeit, time for bread. And you have the Abendbrot, which means bread in the evening. Bread, 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 all day. The next point that I find really shocking in Germany is the food delivery versus the self pickup service here. In Singapore, we have Food Panda, Grab Food. You can get food delivered at any point of the day and from many different types of restaurants. But over here, it's more common to go to the restaurant and pick up your food by yourself. There are food delivery services here in Germany as well, for especially for pizza. Or like there's a big one on the internet where you can just order anything you like. But I personally prefer to call the local business myself and just support them directly without paying any fees to someone else and go there, pick it up. The fourth point about food is the grocery stores and how stressful it can be. If you have been to a grocery store in Germany, you would know how quickly the cashier just scans your food and just dumps it all the way to the end of the alley and you just have to bag it so quickly and dude it is so stressful better go shopping with two people if you have like a week's worth of groceries because otherwise you won't keep up with them and the last point in this category is more about the restaurants and the fact that dogs are allowed in restaurants and also retail shops Yeah, um, usually you can bring your pet to the shops. The owner will usually specify if you're allowed to bring it in or not. Uh, for restaurants, especially in outside areas, it's usually allowed. And they even bring a small bowl with water to the yeah. table so your pet can quench their thirst. It's really pet friendly over here. But in Singapore, you don't really see dogs or pets all around in the shops, mainly because it's not allowed. And the last category is all about leisure time. So one thing that is really shocking to me is the FKK. It means Freie Körperkultur and it basically translates to free body culture. So it's people that go out and want to be naked in public. Um, there are designated areas. At the English Garden, there's a spot where you can see people just like tanning naked. Um, for me, it's really new. Majority of Asians are pretty conservative, so you would not see these kind of nudity all around Asia. So it's something very interesting when, when I moved here. It's not about going there to watch naked people. It's yeah, just no. about enjoying your dong dangling in the wind. <laughs> Yeah, but it's rude as well to it's rude stare to and stare. take pictures. Yeah, yeah, so please don't stare when you come to Germany. Please don't take pictures without yeah. people asking for their permission. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. And the last point is the Ruhetag. The fact that nothing happens on a Sunday. Ruhetag translated means rest day. And it's a tradition handed down by religion. So on the seventh day of creating the earth, God rested and so shall men. So we're not doing anything on Sundays. Shops aren't open. You're not allowed to be loud or noisy. So you're not allowed to throw a party or even just vacuuming your own apartment. That's when you go on excursions. You take day trips to destinations. You go hiking, swimming, whatever. It's true. And you really rest. Yep. So that is all the points that I have. Let us know in the comments below what are some things that shocked you when you came to Germany. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and do consider hitting the subscribe button below. It means a lot to us. See you in the next video. Bye! Bye, -bye.
I think you stumbled over your uh, own tongue, my lad. Where are you going? Ah, uh, my legs are falling asleep. This is. But you're too tall like that. The Deutsche Bahn, the German train system, does not work as it should. It's upsetting as a German. Might not be shocking to you, but it's upsetting. <laughs> it's like... Why? I want to say the German word. I don't speak English. Oh,